Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Now, you know, I usually, my movie night's usually Thursday. Of course, I mean, it is Thursday. But there's one extra movie I wanted to see this week. Cabrini. Perfect, perfect movie to come out for, uh, in, for Women's Month, you know, for the celebration of women. Because this is a movie about a woman who's, uh, uh, I think, yeah, it's based on a true story. Yeah. Cabrini. Not Cabrini Green Projects. <laughs> Cabrini, Cabrini. Uh, all right. Let's see this one movie, and I'm getting back to work. Getting back to the work I need to do. All right, so I just got out of seeing Cabrini, Mother Francesca Cabrini, based on a true story of a nun back in the day, a mother who um, her mission was um, from, she's Italian, from Italy, um, or I think she was from, uh, no, from Italy, went to New York, you know, the immigrant movement back then, um, back in, I think this is what, um, 30s, 40s, 50s, something like that, um, may, no, maybe earlier than that, I don't, know. I, don't, I don't remember the exact year when this happened, I think earlier, earlier than that, like maybe early 1900s, or, or, or late 1800s, but um, Mother Cabrini, whose mission was to open orphanages all around the world, at first in the movie, and then it went to hospitals as well, um, and it's just crazy. Like this, she was like a fucking gangster. <laughs> I mean, if she was really like this in real life, like I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like in the atmosphere she had to be. Remember, this is a time where women didn't really have power at all, or, or like that at all. There was no women empowerment. There was no none of that back then. It, it was just you stay in your place, woman, and that's it. And you know, and you saw that in this film. Like they really didn't want to give her anything. Like you know, she she had to go to the pope. Like. And she would force her way. She would talk to the to the archbishop. She'd be like, no, I want to talk to the Pope. Archbishop, like, no, you can't talk for No, I want to talk to the Pope. And she would make her way. She got to the Pope. Pope said, all right, I'll let you, because she wanted to do it all around the world. He said, I'll let you do it if you start, because she wanted to start in China. He said, I'll let you do it if you start in the West and then go East. Don't start in China. He said, so she started in New York City. Went to the hoodiest hood of New York City where all the orphans and kids were dying. Fathers are dying in the gutter. And she just was walking through there, looking for places like, look, we're going to start here. The, the rats are living better than these kids. Like, And, and really, the, the, the people in New York City didn't give a fuck about these the immigrants. Like, I forgot how bad the Italians got treated as well. Um, immigrants just period got treated bad. But, but she was Italian, and she just saw, like, you just saw, like, like there was one point where the kid, his mom was dying, and she he's, like, he's like telling the, the men, the men's like, get the fuck out of here. And they're like little kid, little Italian, they look at them as like little dirty rats, like the Italians, and uh, they lived in Five Points, right, so Five Points was like the hoodie hood, the hood, like, that's where they all live, all the poor kids, all the immigrants, all the, and they just were all ganged up over there, and they were struggling and dying and whatever, there was plenty of homeless kids, and she started there, and started building, and then she finally got the, the permission from, I guess, the Archbishop in New York to, like, um, you know, start building the orphanages, and then she he, she wanted to go like I guess in another part of New York where they weren't welcome. And she's like, "Listen, I'm not allowing you to go." But he's like, "Don't solicit over there because you're gonna bring too many problems." She's like, "All right, I won't." So what she did, she didn't solicit over there. She actually rented a spot, and people started coming to her. And the mayor was a piece of shit, and he was against it. And the mayor was a piece of shit. He was against it. And the mayor did everything he could. Like he came in, he was talking about like. He's like telling, um, I guess one of his associates, look, I don't want, I don't want motherfuckers looking out the window and seeing these dirty brown skinned people walking up and down. And he was like, they could do all that bullshit and be packed in and do all that crap and kill each other over in five points, but they can't bring none of this shit over here, even if it's positive. And it's just like, man, it's just <laughs> racism is such a, or, or I should say, like I, like I learned like recently classism, I mean, caste systems are a fucking bitch. Um, I mean, it's partly racist too, um, but yeah, caste systems are a bitch, and she had so much resistance, I can't, I don't want to really give away the whole movie, because I already told a lot, but a lot more does happen in the movie, uh, but she had so much resistance, had a lot of support, but so much resistance, especially as a woman, but she was running up in spots, like, listen, like, she, would, she wouldn't take no for an answer, no, she got kicked out of New York, alright, so I'm, I know I'm talking a little bit more about the movie, but fuck it, she got kicked out of New York, sent back to Italy, talked to the Pope. Pope said, yo, I can't, I can't keep letting you go. Then she ran up in, I guess, the Italian Senate and was like, yo, da 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 These people over here are dying. Yo, you got to let me go back. You going to let these people. 
the whole part of being a good person is you're, you're supposed to tend to the poor, the kids, and you're going to just let them die in the gutter. Then they, they approved her to go back and go try to fix things again. And of course, then that's when she was successful. But this is based on a true story. Um, Francesca Cabrini. Um, I don't know if that's if she's the one with the, the Cabri Cabrini Green Project. I mean, name that? No, no, probably not. But I don't know the hospital that the, is the is the hospital that's still there. I guess that she first created in wherever. But you know, she had hospitals as you saw. If you saw the end of my story, her shit went all around the world. And, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. This was a really good, good, good. Movie. And the woman who played Cabrini was i feel like was a really good actress i feel like she was very she had a very uh um powerful presence in the role and um i don't know her name but she, she i think she did good and this was a good movie it was a long movie too it was more like two 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 hours maybe a little more than two hours but it was a really good movie i really suggest like i like i, I always say every movie's good because i usually enjoy every movie but when a movie's like really really good like i try to express it like no this movie was really good so, um, yeah, Cabrini, Italians, women, and then, you know, this is during women's, women's uh, you know, month. A very good movie for women. All you women out there, keep doing your thing, man, because this woman, and even the, guy, even the man at the end said, yo, if you was a man, you know, the shit you would have got accomplished, and he's right. If she was a man, she probably wouldn't have got as much resistance as she got with all the shit she was trying to do. And then she's like, no, I don't have to be a man because they can't do what we can do. Uh, yes, true. What a, in certain instances. But listen, he is right. The mayor's right. If she was a man, she would have got, she would have still got resistance, but have been a lot less than, you know, her being a woman. Because a lot, that was the, the issue with a lot of the things in the, in the film was that she was a woman. Um, people giving her permission to do things because they're like, yo, you, you're a woman. Stay in your place. But this is a perfect thing for a woman to do. Start orphanages and, and try to help run hospitals. Women are mothers. Like, you're going to take in all these kids. Now all these kids that are homeless on the street are going to have mothers to help take care of them. Better than them having fucking nothing. Nobody. So it was a great plan that she had. I don't know. What, they were just against it because they didn't want a woman to have power. But um, women, this is Women's Month. Go do big things. I swear to God, all the women who are watching this, do big things. Do you um, have a goal, a vision for your life and accomplish it and face the adversity because she had a big goal and she accomplished it. But the whole thing is with everybody, with men and women, with big goals comes big adversity. Big, and, she, and when you see this movie, she faced really big adversity. Like, I, I actually started to hate the mayor. Like, I'm like, yo, this mayor's a piece of shit. Because <laughs> he was doing so much to hold her back. But, um, yes, ladies, watch Cabrini. See how you're supposed to be. Because <laughs> Shorty was a gangster. It was like, yo, she was going through parts of New York that the cops won't go through. And they said she walking through like she, like she can't be killed. Like, she can't be touched. Even though, I mean, she knew she could be touched because you saw when she started to back off at certain points. But she still dared herself to do it. She still, she's like, this is my mission. I'm, I'm going to die doing this. So, women, do your thing. This is your month of recognition. Your month of recognition. And it's just a month. But this is, your month don't fucking matter. Your life matters. Your life your life recognition is what matters. At the end, when you're finally gone, what did you do? What did you do? This is a good movie for, for, for messages like that. Oh, what was the quote that she said? There was a really good fuck. All right, let me end off this with this quote. I'm sorry, this, this review is already too long. She said, um, we have time in life. We, we, we either have time for our weaknesses or our purpose, but we don't have time for both. We either have time for our weaknesses or our purpose, but we don't have time for both. That was a bar, she said. That was a bar. So let me end it off on that. Women, do your thing. Guys, too, if you're watching this, you already know you're a man. You're supposed to do your thing. I will talk to you later. I saw Cabrini. I will catch you later. Have a great day.